Hey everyone, welcome to the living room. As the cooler months are approaching, I'm sure many of us with wood stoves or fireplaces have already begun burning to heat the house. After you know a couple days of use, it's pretty typical for the glass to be soot stained, as you can see here on my wood stove. Uh, the soot stain uh, usually is from either not burning hot enough or burning wet wood. Uh, those seem to be the two biggest factors that lead to more of this uh, soot buildup, as you can see. Um, I wanted to quickly go over two common methods for cleaning the glass. Uh, this will help uh, maintain your glass and uh, improve the overall aesthetic of your fireplace. Uh, method number one is ash and water. Uh, for this you simply just take either a piece of newspaper, a paper towel, or I prefer to use microfiber cloths. You dip it in a little bit of water uh, and you can get some ash out of your fireplace and you could use the ash as a polishing compound to more or less buff the glass and it will fairly well remove a lot of the buildup that you get. Um, the second method that I commonly see used and my personal method is to use a glass cleaner. Uh, you wanna get a glass cleaner that is either made for wood stoves or fireplaces as well as ones for electric stove tops with the glass stove top. Uh, the, you know, similar concept, it acts as a buffing compound um, that you just work into the glass and it strips off a lot of that uh, soot buildup. Uh, you do not want to use Windex or other things like that. Uh, some of those chemicals that are in the, the Windex would not be good for your stove, uh, particularly the cast iron or the seals around it. Um, I'm going to do a side-by-side -side comparison as you can see so you can make decisions for yourself about what works best for you. Um, I Personally, I like to use microfibers because I feel like I get better results. Uh, they're really easy to wash and reuse, so you don't have to keep, you know, throwing away all your paper towels. Uh, if you find any of this helpful, please like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. Um, as with all my videos, links to materials that I use in the videos will be in the description. All right, thanks.